we're going to look at how you add audio to your iMovie timeline when you're creating your film. So I've clicked the plus icon and I'm going to go to my audio tab here. So the first thing I notice is soundtracks. So I can click that and I can add a soundtrack that is already pre-built into iMovie for you. So I just click that, download, and you'll get a little blue circle. The next thing is I can use my music. So I go into my music and I've got all of my iTunes open there. Please be aware, if you're going to use somebody else's music, you have to have permission to do so. So you have to use copyright or royalty-free music. I actually have my music in a different location. So I'm going to go to files, which is where I've put my music. So I've downloaded this off a royalty-free music site. So I'm just going to pop that in there. And what iMovie does is it instantly makes your audio the same length of time as your video file. So in this case, our dance film and our timeline. So it creates the beginning at the beginning and it goes all the way to the end and it fades in and fades out for you so you don't have to do any of that work. Of course, if I click it, I get full functionality like I would any normal clip so I can edit that. I actually don't want that file, so I'm going to select another file and again, it's just going to replace it for me. So iMovie does all the work for you. So I'm just going to watch this back and check. So what I like to do at every stage of my edit, whether it be version one, like we did in the last session, or adding the audio like we're doing in this session, I like to make sure everything looks like it fits. So make sure that the audio is actually the same length as the visuals. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click done in a moment, and I'm going to just watch this in full screen so I know and I can check and I can constantly see that everything's working. So I've just clicked done and you'll notice I get my screen here so I can change the title of my film if I want to. I've called it my dance film for the sake of this tutorial, but you call it whatever you want. If I click the play button on the big image, what I will get is a full screen preview of the dance film that I'm currently editing. So I get all of that playback functionality. Let's have a quick watch of the rough cut and then we can, in the next session, look at how we develop that.